Hello everyone. Shockingly, I am back with another CC video in The Sims 4. I say that because I've been making a lot of these recently, I know. But one of my friends just released a new CC pack for The Sims and I just want to build with it, okay? I just want to make a little country cabin. So you may have heard of Little Zika's CC before because I've made some videos on it in the past. Remember that fast food greasy kitchen set? This is the one. Well, he made a like country cabin set and it's less furniture focused and more build mode focused, which is really interesting because I don't really download a lot of CC like that. I know we tried out the Harry and Felix like set that was like that, but I don't really download a lot of like CC fences and like freezes and roof textures, you know? So I thought it would be fun to try out this one. So here is the website and here is our countryside cabin kit. <laughs> So you can see it comes with a lot of stuff. This brick in particular I am obsessed with and is probably what I'm most excited about. It was interesting reading about this stuff because it was actually his first time making a lot of these things. Like he had never tried to make a custom roof texture before or tried to make a custom stair railing before. And as I'm sure we all know, making custom content is not easy. And I can imagine it's very hard to figure out how to do that kind of stuff. I mean, I tried to make recolors and the, to be fair, the thing I was trying to recolor was warped. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. It was the item itself. That item EA had messed up. So it was not my fault that the texture was bad, but I was very stumped by this. I would not know how to fix that problem. Some people do, this person included. So <laughs> I am just always constantly so impressed by people's ability to make stuff like this. Like I know I say it in like every CC video, but one, the creativity it takes to come up with an idea and like design stuff to make a CC set, but then also the skill it takes to then make it baffles me. It baffles me. I, I very much admire any modder for The Sims 4. I just think you're all very cool. So anyway, I'm gonna download this stuff. See, I believe this pack was designed because of Cottage Living. I just clicked on Evergreen Harbor. That is not... <laughs> <laughs> that is not the new world. Henford on Bagley is the new world. So I believe it was designed because of Cottage Living, but the title of the pack says cabin and I have not built anything in Granite Falls in a long time. So you want to build something here? Just an idea. Oh, this is too vacation worldly. Never mind. I'm going back. Maybe I'll make a video in Granite Falls soon. <laughs> Do you know what I want to do is live up here in the middle of nowhere by a waterfall. That's what I want. Not in real life. Oh no, not in real life. I am very afraid of living in the middle of nowhere. What if something bad happens? Nope, 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 nope. And you're all the way up on this mountain? Nope, 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 nope. I prefer to live in civilization. Thank you. I am scared of this. This is just because I have anxiety and I worry like, what if the fire department can't get there in time and my house burns down? You know, <laughs> that's the kind of stuff I worry about. It sure would be nice to live next to a waterfall, but maybe at the bottom of the waterfall. You know? All right, what do we got? You can't filter by most of these things now that I think about it because they're like fences. <laughs> I have to go find them myself. Okay, so there's two fences. The Sim City Essentials Backyard Fence and the Sim City Essentials Tiny Balustrade. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Oh. This reminds me of a fence from The Sims 3 that I used to love. I wish we had more backyard type fences like this in The Sims 4. We don't really have many. This is really cute. I really like that a lot. God, how do CC creators always do this? Okay, then we have this matching gate, obviously. Staircase. <gasps> oh, I love the wood texture on this. Matching railing, yes. Foundation, oh, beautiful. Wallpaper, I love this. I love this brick texture. This is such a nice brick texture. I like how it's like varied, you know? Oh, Oh, I love it here. Okay, then we also have spandrels, columns. Oh, that is a nice column. I like how skinny it is. Freeze. Oh, I like how skinny that is too. <laughs> So nice. Okay, and then we also have a roof texture with the nice tiles. Oh, that's so pretty. And a matching trim that matches all the wood. This is the thing that I wish we had more of because we have a bunch of roof trims, but they don't match the woods in the game. I really appreciate having a trim that actually matches the wood because then you can have it match the same colors as the rest of the house. Like you wouldn't think that would be too much to ask, but for some reason it is. Okay, delete all because I want to build a tiny house. <laughs> Now shoe so I can build. I didn't look at the windows yet. That's my bad. Sorry. <laughs> I got a little bit ahead of myself. Okay, we have some windows and we also have a door. Obviously, you know, same swatches. Okay, can I build now, please? I'm getting excited. <laughs> I don't think I want it to be very big. I feel like the idea of a little cottage kind of appeals to me. <laughs> These are so tiny. No, game froze. Stop, stop. Ooh. 
Sorry. I don't know why I just panicked so much. It's not like I made much progress. <laughs> it's not like my game's gonna crash and I'm gonna lose my whole build. I didn't even make a build yet. Okay. I feel like something simple like that is kind of what I'm going for. Like, I'm really not trying to make something very big, like I said. Oh, that's way too tall of a chimney. Ew. Oh, no, 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 no. Even that's too tall. Okay, that's better. Little house. Probably like one bedroom, you know, nothing too fancy. Okay, what color wood are we gonna go with? <laughs> I mean, we have to figure it out, like, now. So, I like this light wood, I think, right? Okay, I'm thinking we could have, like, a really small sort of side yard, and then we can move the house on the lot a little bit to make it feel less out of place. But I'm kind of aiming for tiny house vibes, you know? So I don't want it to be too big. Oh, I am obsessed with the color of this brick. Absolutely obsessed with the color of that brick. Oh. How did that happen? Too big. Let me make sure I get some columns on all the sides. I think we can connect these. I mean, you can't put anything up there really, but <laughs> we might as well pretend that you can, right? Oh, the lighting on this lot is bad. It's nice from the front though. Okay, and then what color roof do we put? Genuinely don't know how to match anything. Brown tile? Mint tile? <laughs> Blue? Black? Maybe the gray was nice. I'm not sure. That's the color that matches the roof trim we picked. Oh, look at that in the morning. Doesn't that like not look like The Sims 4? Not the CC, like just in general, the, the lighting looks so different than normal. We do have a new wood flooring as well. Okay, please note how my windows fit perfectly on those. Completely by accident. Didn't do that on purpose, but they fit perfectly. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm trying to make a little curvy pathway that will lead you to the backyard. Oops. Too bad. I'm just thinking this would be kind of cute. Then we can put a bunch of landscaping in there, you know? Maybe we could have the path sort of continue straight into the house on the stairs. I like that. Okay. I don't have any interior build CC, so we're pretty much just gonna use the CC for the outside, obviously, but there isn't much of an interior anyway, so not surprising. All right, where does the bedroom go? Here's what I'm thinking, because this space is a bit bigger. What if the bedroom is here? This is the bathroom. This is kind of a little hallway space. We could always like do the door like that. Oh, do you know what? What if it's an ensuite bathroom? Hear me out. Bathroom's an ensuite. I might use white doors inside, actually. This is the kitchen, and we can use the cottage living stuff. Mm, don't like it. <laughs> I might use the country kitchen kit stuff then. The swatches are more what I'm looking for. Anyway, the kitchen could go here like that. Living room goes this way. We obviously use a fireplace. There's not a ton of space for a dining table. Unless we move the door. Oh, wait. Oh, your Sims can still walk through here. Maybe that's nice. Lovely open floor plan. <laughs> I mean, again, it's not a very big house, so like, it's gonna be small like this, but it's kind of cute. Should we use the brick on the inside too? Like, behind the cabinets? Mm, maybe that color scheme is... <laughs> <laughs> not good with the green. We could use the gray brick on the inside, or should we try to embrace- no, maybe we should try and change the green and keep the brick. Oh, interesting. I haven't used this swatch yet. Maybe that's cool. It's definitely different <laughs> to what I've usually been building. And I said I was trying to branch out. <laughs> I want a different couch than that. I need something like comfy, but not too trendy, but like old, but not too old. <laughs> I don't know what I want it to look like. I'm not sure what wallpaper I want to put every Everywhere else. I kind of like the idea of something a bit fancier, like this one, but maybe that's not the vibe, but maybe we're trying to go for something simpler. I swear, I use this wallpaper all the time, but I like that it has the stone at the bottom. It's like one of my favorite wallpapers for that reason. Maybe it's for the best. <laughs> maybe I should keep it. Do you want to use that horrible wallpaper in the bathroom? It kind of works. I'm gonna do it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do it. I really enjoy building things in The Sims that are like kind of ugly. Like this house is kind of ugly, you know? And that, I'm not trying to bash the CC, by the way, in case that wasn't clear. The CC is awesome. But like the interior of this house, I'm kind of going for ugly on purpose. I mean, it's supposed to be older, right? And like, it's outdated. They've not like redone the inside in a long time. That's why it looks like that. But I think it's kind of fun to do stuff like that. Not everything you build in The Sims has to be trendy, you know? Make it weird sometimes. <laughs> build something ugly. Can I use a red rug? Can I pull that off? Not sure. Kind of want to try though. <laughs> A red rug with like some kind of older looking furniture. Do you know what? It really is this base game furniture's time to shine in a house like this. <laughs> like that, the drawers on this fit perfect in here. I usually kind of just ignore that they look like that because most of the time they don't really fit my vibes, but I, they're, it's a cheap dresser, so I use it anyway. But this time, this time I can actually use it. Oh, I should use these lanterns outside. So many people I follow on Instagram, I follow a lot of like house people on Instagram, they all have lights like that by their front doors. <laughs> they are pretty, I will admit that. I kind of want a wallpaper, but I don't want 
one of the cottage living ones? No. Part of me is kind of thinking, what if you did that? Because it matches the, the pillows. Thoughts? <laughs> it's a little bit ugly, just a little bit. Maybe we don't have the red rug. Maybe we go for like a more subtle rug because the walls are so much. We can keep the red flowers though. Do you know what? I actually like it. I do. This isn't just me trying to make things bad on purpose. Well, I, I am a little bit, but like, you know how sometimes I do some things that are maybe a little bit too chaotic out of spite, you know, like some of my Twitch chats, like Kayla, I hate the color of your floors. And then I'm like, oh, you hate this. And then I make it worse on purpose. Um, This isn't me doing that. <laughs> <laughs> this is me trying something new, but I like it actually like it. I'm trying to keep this just base game and cottage living and well and the CC <laughs> <laughs> because I realized that me using custom content has already made this so that you like can't download it You know like a lot of you probably can't even get CC if you play on console So I'm trying to limit the packs, but this random person. I like it. I think that's really nice <laughs> Really good stuff there. Okay kitchen stuff probably needs a couple more touches We could probably use a pattern on the chairs. Oh wait, I used the kit as well, didn't I? Dang it! Okay, just a couple things. We gotta leave a counter open so your sims can actually cook um, mm, mm. no trash can inside. They're gonna have one outside. Coat rack, useful. Do you know what? I actually really like it in here. I think it's really cute. Bit ugly, but cute. I'm thinking we could do a couple of pots on the patio, you know, if you want a garden. And then let's think about landscaping for a second because I would like to fill it up and make it look a bit overgrown. Like here's kind of what I'm thinking. Although, you know, with some flowers, <laughs> there's gonna be flowers too. I just love how hydrangeas look, okay? I know I use these in like every single one of my builds. I just love them. I think they are so pretty. This is one of those things that I would just love to have in a, in a real life house, you know? So I channel it in The Sims. <laughs> Maybe I should do it in white though. The house is a bit busy color wise. No, I like the pink. It's not busy. That's the wrong word. It It's very like monochrome actually. <laughs> so maybe it does need a couple extra things. Mailbox. I'm trying to switch some of the flowers. So there's a couple different kinds. I like that. Okay, and it is in cottage living. So maybe we could put some planter boxes or at least some of these, like we could have a farm and then we'll need a trash can too because I didn't put one inside. We can just stick it there. Okay. Do you know what? I like this little house. I think it's kind of fun. There's not much to show for. I mean, I was gonna do a tour and then I was like, well, <laughs> three rooms. So we have a little living space, kitchen, tiny dining space. There's a little bedroom, bathroom. Obviously outside there's some plants. There's not really like a computer space or anything, which is probably a bit impractical for the Sims, but picture it's an older house, you know? No TV, no computer, just plants. I don't often build with CC. So this was kind of fun for me. I'm planning on doing a video, an all CC build. Like any wallpaper, flooring, bed, kitchen, literally every item has to be custom content <laughs> because obviously I know it will be hard to download, but I don't build with CC ever. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to try that. This is our, our um, dipping our toes in the water test run for that. It is on the gallery if you want to download it. Although I know that that's hard to do <laughs> if you don't have the CC or if you're on console, you can't, but it is up there in case you're interested. And of course I'll have the CC CC linked down below and like Little Zika's Patreon and everything if you want to download it. It's out available for everyone. You don't need to pay for it or anything. But if you'd like to download this CC because you like it, I'll have it linked for you. <laughs> and if you enjoy custom content videos, I've got a playlist of them. So I'll have that linked for you as well at the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. I love you and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everybody. You had me at cottage. Do you know what I mean? Like as soon as I get offered a cottage thing, I'm suddenly near tears and need to build with it immediately. <laughs> Hence why we did this today.